All right. Hi, guys. Welcome to our keto bread cooking um, episode. And so me and Bonnie's been on this keto journey for a few weeks. And everyone keeps asking for a bread recipe. So I'm going to make my flatbread um, recipe today. And so what that is is you start with a base of mozzarella cheese and cream cheese. And so what I, I'm go, doing a double batch because I have uh, seven people in my house and they all love this bread. The kids do. So what you start with is a base of mozzarella cheese and cream cheese. And so it's a cup of mozzarella to a tablespoon of cream cheese. So I'm doing a double. So I'm using two cups of mozzarella and two tablespoons of cream cheese. And so what you want to do is alternate um, this uh, melting it in the microwave for 30 seconds at a time it's been in there for about a minute so I'm gonna have to put it back in there but each between each time you take it out stir it so it's not quite where we want it we want this completely melted and in like a rubbery ball you'll see when it's done so I'm gonna keep microwave it for 30 seconds until it's at the consistency that I want and then we'll be right back all right, so now the cheese is to the consistency that we want. It's like a ball. It's all melted together. So we're going to take and we're going to add two uh, eggs, and you want them to be mixed and beaten already before you pour them in. And then you're going to um, stir this all together and get that all incorporated there. Get the cheese. Um, mixed in with that egg really good all right I had to whip it good with my uh, fork which is my kitchen tool of choice I love using a fork for everything all right now we're gonna um, put in our flour to hold it together now you don't want to use white or wheat flour because then you're gonna get out of the keto so what we use for keto is almond uh, flour you can use a meal you can use finely ground um, you can use coconut flour. Uh, the coconut flour is a lot more dense, so it's not going to make your bread fluffy. The almond flour is a much better choice for this, so use almond flour. So we're going to add three tablespoons per batch, so six tablespoons of almond flour. Okay, we got our six tablespoons of almond flour, and it's about a half of a cup. This is for two batches, remember. And so we're gonna stir that in. Mix that all together. And I love the um, consistency of this almond meal. And um, it gives it some color and some texture. So stir that in there. Now we're going to add our spices. And the thing that I love about this bread is you can customize this after this point. You can customize this any way you want. So I would recommend putting salt and pepper in it. You need the salt and pepper. Um, but I'm going to add Italian seasoning, garlic, and I'm going to put in um, some flax, chia, and hemp seeds. And this is a mixture that I got. And so you put in whatever you like. If you don't like Italian seasoning, use um, whatever you want. So you can use basil, oregano, um, whatever other kinds of things and then if you don't like garlic don't put the garlic in there so let's add all of our seasonings so I'm gonna add just a little bit of seeds because I need the fiber I'm going to add just a shake 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 should have taken the lids off these hold on okay so I went ahead and put the salt in there why I didn't have the phone um, that way because it's a grinder. I use pink Himalayan salt and so I always keep it in a grinder. So um, let's put our pepper in there. Just a sprinkle to give it some flavor. Remember the kid, if the kids are eating this don't put too much pepper in it. And then I have some Italian seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that in there. And garlic powder. And then you stir it all up and then we'll be back and we'll put it on our baking sheet. All right, I have my oven preheated at 350. I put uh, parchment paper on my pan 
And then you are just going to take your spoon and you're going to flatten this out as thin as you can. So you're going to thin it, thin it, thin it, spread it out. This is a very versatile bread. Uh, what we did was we took and I made three batches of this bread. It fit this whole pan. I um, Then I baked it for the recommended time. I took it out and we made a pizza on it. And the kids loved it. Love, love, loved it. Everybody loved it. Now, pizza sauce is super high in sugar. So we had, to, I used tomato sauce. Just a little teeny eight ounce can of tomato sauce and I doctored it up. I put uh, Italian seasoning in it, I put garlic, I put um, Parmesan cheese in it and that's what we use for our sauce. So if you are watching your sugar and you or you are trying the keto, uh, that's just a tip for you. You can make this into a pizza and it's really good. All right, let me go finish uh, spreading this out and we'll be back and put it in the oven. All right, here we go. It is spread out on our pan and we have the oven preheated and we're gonna put it in 10 to 12 minutes. And we're gonna see how that, I like to put things on the top um, when I'm baking, um, especially bread. And we're gonna set the timer. I'm going to set for 10 minutes and then we'll be back to see what it looks like. Let's see what the animals are doing while our um, flatbread is baking. Target must went out. It's a nice sunshiny day. It's heating up. We're supposed to have a high of 70 today. Princess just woke up from her little nap. <laughs> and Woo is probably in Madison's room, so let me go get her. All right, I found Woo. I found Woo! And Princess, I have beef jerky, so... <laughs> Princess is barking and Wu is sitting so nice. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. For her jerky. And Princess is a mad woman. Look at her. Get it, Princess. All right. So the doggies had a little treat. You guys got to see their precious little faces. And we'll be right back to check on our bread. This smells amazing. So this is after 10 minutes. So it's not quite done. The um, edges aren't brown yet. So I'm gonna stick it back in for just a few more minutes. Oh guys, I wish I had smell vision This smells so good. All right, so that was 13 minutes for a double batch. So it usually takes about 10 minutes for a single. So it took 13 minutes at 350. So do you see how the edges are browned and the top is nice and brown? Mmm. Can't wait to eat this. I'm going to make me a roast beef sandwich with some of this bread and then I'll cut it up into pieces and use it for something else. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> I just gave him a piece of roast beef. <laughs> All right, I'm putting together my sandwich with our flatbread. So here's, I just took like a fourth of the corner out. I cut it with a pizza cutter and I am making a sandwich. So I went ahead and started some of the process and then I'll put it all together. So this is plain mayonnaise. You can have mayonnaise on keto. And then this is a horseradish mustard, and this is dill relish. And so I just mix that together on the other side. Mm -mm -mm. This is a staple in my house. I've always loved this. Horseradish mustard is the best. Now you can heat your roast beef up if you want. I don't really mind. The bread's still a little warm. So I have a couple slices of thin roast beef and a piece of Colby cheese and then I had a salad romaine salad last night and so I'm gonna pick out some leaves so I can have some crunch in there and then we're gonna put it together and look at that 
flatbread. And now I can have a sandwich and actually feel like I'm not missing out on anything with the keto. So it's slippery and falling apart. I'm licking my fingers. <laughs> keeping it real, guys. Keeping it real. Cut this in half. So I can take a piece. Oh, yeah. I'm going to bite this. Yes, I am. Look at Princess. She's like, Mama, you going to give me some? Oh my gosh. Mmm. That's so good. Mmm. When you make stuff like this, you don't even miss the regular bread. Oh, yummy. So I'm going to go finish my sandwich. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this video today. And I hope that you like our video, subscribe to our channel. And leave a comment down below if you make this bread and let us know what you think. Thank you and have a wonderful rest of the day wherever you may be. And we will see you next time.